eh, trabajando desde trabajando en red, utilizando el apoyo mutuo tanto desde las organizaciones como desde mismo dentro de los colectivos, como nosotros como personas con, nuestro, con nuestra gente más cercana, de modo que podamos romper ese individualismo en el que nos ha encorsetado el sistema capitalista y recuperemos nuestra capacidad de acción y de resistencia para, para poder hacer frente a un enemigo que sí es cierto que está muy bien organizado. I, I definitely think that we uh, one of the demands well there was someone actually who said that we shouldn't demand anything because then we acknowledge their power we should just say that no we will not pay out the debts the debts were not made by us you know the debts are so maybe we should do something in, in that sort and um, you know, occupy banks you know, occupy our workplaces occupy the harbors you know create like prevent Uh, the system from working in some sense so that we assert look we are the people it is our sovereignty it is us in power and there are women and men and children being hurt by these reforms and the structure well the first thing uh, streaming is very important is because of the transparency it gives the opportunity to any peer person in the world to connect with what is happening and to see it with another set of eyes that is not uh, probably corrupted by uh, mass media. Um, also this gives uh, the opportunity to create a new way of communication that wasn't in the, in the table, for example, five years ago. Even two years ago, nobody in Spain knew what live stream was and now a lot of people are doing their own channels, most of them for activist reasons, but some people are doing it too for, I don't know, to stream their birthday or a party or or an event that, ha that is not related with activism. It's, uh, to me, it's a key tool. It's not the unique tool, of course. We have Twitter, we have the social networks. It's there a lot of ways to communicate. But here, everyone has the chance to see the, the whole conference as if they were here. They cannot participate directly because it's not uh, possible at the moment. But I suppose in the future, maybe with, with Skype and technology, technologies as such, We, we will be able to do meetings like this without having to come all to Firenze. That's what I hope for the future. Also, streaming is a very important weapon because in Spain, for example, we use it as a defense mechanism against the police. If the police is doing something illegal and we shoot it and then they take our cell phone, it doesn't matter because the footage is already in the internet. So the footage is saved and also it's an attack weapon because uh, we use the streamings to call people to come to an action to support. For example, in evictions, especially when, when an eviction doesn't have enough people, we use this tool to call people to come to the eviction. Sometimes it works and people come, sometimes no, it depends. Well, there's this insistence on, on horizontality and participation and um, inclusivity, and all of this is, is very important. It's, um, it's coming out of, uh, of this new Uh, new wave, new sort of uh, zeitgeist um, uh, shift, paradigm shift that's happening. And it's very much um, contrary to the, the old left and um, you know, the, the trade unions and, and their way of working. It's very hierarchical, it's top down, and we're, uh, we're the opposite of that. Um, and you know, they're about organizations and we're about um, people uh, talking to each other. and. Uh, self-organizing and I, I think there's enormous potential with, with the new movements because it's not so set in the stone it's not uh, about um, taking power or um, uh, negotiating power with others it's about um, building our own power um, and uh, doing that together in a collective and democratic way and It's the only way. It's the only way that we're going to have a real movement. I think is important to be doing now is building the alternative world that we want to see. And this is happening already. Um, I think it's important that we prepare the, let's say, safety nets. <laughs> Because I don't think the, the, the structures that are in place are going to survive. Um, and so, and we're seeing this already in Greece, in Spain. The, the structures are, are collapsing and what is happening is that people are self-organizing um, and, and 
what is interesting is that there were already some of these um, self-organizing practices were already happening in the last 20 or 10 years, you know, like cooperatives and sharing economies and things like that. And But it was just, a, you know, certain people that were like, I want to live uh, in a different way from like uh, the main system, out of the system maybe. Uh, what is happening now is that for necessity, a lot of people are moving towards these alternative economies. And I think that's very, very interesting. And if we can understand how these economies can work in a better way and be expanded and multiplied and so on, I think for, for the long term there's a, a lot of hope.